What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to the562.org. It's Tyler, and this More League softball highlight is brought to you by the fine folks at Naples Rib Company. Big day on the small diamond. Long Beach Poly taking on Milliken as uh, we're getting things going in More League softball. New Rams head coach Michelle Lair with high hopes for the defending league champs. Poly head coach Elizabeth Sanchez hopes Poly can climb the ladder in the More League this year, even with some key injuries. And uh, yeah, great to check out the new facility at Milliken. Rams with junior Victoria Byram in the circle. She is one of the best in the league, and she came out firing. She had four Ks in her first two innings pitched, holding the Jackrabbits in check. And if it's up, then it's stuck. Polly having a tough time laying off her rise ball in the early going. On the other side, Jackrabbits have a great starter as well. Senior Bella Alonzo headed to CSUN next year. Bottom of the second, a one-out single and a hit batter. Put two on this wild pitch, puts them both in scoring position with one out. But Bella bears down, gets a K looking for the huge second out. Then comes back and get a swinging strikeout that would strand both runners and we remain scoreless through two innings. Bottom third, a one-out rally. Emily Hanif going to pop it up. Great diving attempt by Vanessa Correa at short, but heads up base running as Hanif is going to take second base with no one at the bag. Then after an infield single, runners at the corners with one out. Ari Ramirez puts one into the outfield. That's going to be deep enough to score Hanif from third on the sacrifice fly. Ramirez is going to have a lot of RBIs this year. She did her job there with the sack fly, 1-0 Milliken. Top of the fourth, back comes Polly with a pair of one-out walks to put two runners on base. This is the first time the Jackrabbits have had someone in scoring position, but Byram battles back, strikeout looking for out number two. Then gets another strikeout looking to strand a pair and keep the 1-0 lead intact for Milliken. Alonzo, meanwhile, keeping the Jackrabbits right there with a couple of Ks in the fourth inning. But hey, she also got help from her defense. Emma De La Torre with the throw down and Correa, the diving tag. Great play, even though she did drop that dun -dun -dun after the tag. But Polly fired up about that defense, uh, getting a very speedy runner. But now bottom of the fifth, here comes Milliken. Shorty Wright with a one-out triple to right field. That will start a rally for the Rams. Still a one-run game here, moving into the later innings. Hanif smacks a single to the opposite field for the RBI. That would double Milliken's lead. It's now 2-0 as Wright has the right stuff to come on home and score. Rams, though, still threatening. With two outs, runners at the corners. Katie Narr hits it right up the elevator shaft, and no one makes a play. It, kind of a weird situation with five players there. It was a fair ball. It landed fair. Hanif scores. It's 3-0 Milliken. Weird play. 3-0 after five. Now in the sixth, it starts with a bang as Alonzo smacks a leadoff triple. She's geeked and gets the clothesline from Coach, but stays on the bag. And you can see she's fired up. Then after a strikeout, back-to-back -back walks is going to load the bases full of Jackrabbits with just one out. So the tying run now on base for Polly. What would you say to Victoria Byram right now? Well, the advice was pretty good. The junior ace is going to stay in the game. On a 3-2 count, Angela Reyes is going to sky one into center field. That's going to be deep enough to score Alonzo from third. And Polly is on the board. It's now 3-1 Milliken. But Polly still threatening. One more big out to get, and Byram delivers. Her 10th K of the day to strand the tying run in scoring position. Milliken holding on to that two-run edge. Top seven now. A leadoff walk is going to give Polly some life, and that's going to do it for Byram. Sophomore Ava Chaffel going to take over in the circle. She's the two in Milliken's one-two punch in the circle. They're pretty confident with both of those arms. Chaffel couldn't have looked much better to close it out. K swinging. K looking. And then with Alonzo coming up as the tying run, she can't hold her swing. And that's the game. Milliken going to hold on to win this one 3-1. to one. A really entertaining, well-played ball game on both sides. High hopes for both of these teams the rest of the year. Milliken is hosting Wilson on Monday. Polly is at Lakewood on Tuesday for two more huge games. We want to thank all of our sponsors, including Ocean Law Center, for their support of local sports coverage. And if you want to keep up with more league softball and all other sports going on in the LBC, you got to stay right here at the562.org.